Welcome to the Stephanie Herman Show. Hi, I'm Stephanie Herman. I'm the creator of the Muscle Ballet and the Pilates Body and Rhythm program. And the themes of these shows, which will run monthly, will be about getting into your body and getting into life. The getting into your body part will be I will be teaching you specific tips and tools on how to get into your body so that you feel comfortable within your own body. Once you have that comfort level, it starts to build a confidence within you. And then we take that confidence and we bring it into life to the second part of the show, which will be getting into life, where I will be bringing people from all walks of life to show you different ways of life and lifestyles that will help enrich your life so that you can take that confidence within you and go into the lifestyle that you desire. Today's theme will be getting into your body and dancing through life. And don't get scared when you hear the dancing through life. It's just a metaphor. It's a symbol of dancing through life. I will be giving you tips and tools today, which will be the ABCs of understanding your body. The A will be the alignment. Alignment, your posture, your stand, the way you are, who you are. It will help you understand and feel comfortable within yourself so that you have that confidence. The B, the breath. The breath of life. The first thing that happened to you when you were born was that breath of life. And I will teach you how to breathe so that you have oxygen going in and carbon dioxide going out. And it's a working system. C is very important. It is the core. It is the center of your body. It is the motor of your body like in a car. It's what makes everything move within you. Now, if you put the ABCs together and you add a D for dance, put some music together, and before you know it, believe it or not, you will be dancing through life. Come on. Let me show you how. Hi, here we are. I have invited two of my students who are dancers and also are professional. We have Val, who's a professional model maker, has his own model making company, and he's a tango dancer. And we have Clark Conant, who is a dancer in my class and a dancing through life. And she's also a psychotherapist specializing with children and adults. And I would like to just ask Val and Clark how they feel about getting into their body. How do you feel about getting into your body? It feels great when you really get in there. First <laughs> of all, you wake up and you don't know where your body is. Like, oh, this hurts, that hurts. But, you know, slowly you kind of wake up and you getting in there. And what really helps to go through the day is get your emotions together, get your physical health together, and that's how the day starts, and that's what really helps to go through it. Do you find that sometimes your mind and body are a disconnect? Oh, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it happens. But, uh, you know, after dancing a few moves here and there, it's it pulling together. Back. It comes back. Great, thank you. And Clark, how do you feel when you get into your body and how do you feel about getting into your body and the importance behind it? I welcome getting into my body uh, generally and then depending on the state of mind I'm in, sometimes I also have some reluctance or some resistance to getting into my body. And I find that that's, working on that is a part of the whole process for me. Uh, and as a therapist, I am in my work containing a lot from other people. And I find that it's really helpful to me in balancing myself and being available to my patients to uh, connect with my own body. And I find your class is very helpful in working on that. Do you sometimes take some of the things you've learned in the class and bring it into your profession? Definitely. Good. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to share with you also the ABCs, as I said. And let's start with the alignment. 
And it's very important to understand how to find your alignment. And it's very simple. Let's not get too nervous about it. Let's just think simple right now. What we're going to do is you are born with a natural curve of your spine, and that's good. You want to keep that natural curve of the spine. A lot of people that I teach, I find, lean into their pelvis, and when they do so, the head has to compensate. And it might be a comfort level, but after a while, your back might hurt. So let's put our hand on the sternum and the hand on the pelvis, and if you look, they should be right on top of each other. By doing so, you will find you have a natural curve of the spine. When you find it, then you just let your arms relax, and that is your alignment. If you find it difficult to find that alignment, another thing you could do is put your back of your, your hand on the back of your head and your other hand on your tailbone, and if they align together, that's an alignment, and then check the sternum over the pelvis and they align together. Good. That's how you find your alignment. It's very simple. Let's find our breath. It's very important. When I teach and I tell people to breathe, a lot of times what happens with their nose is they go and what happens is their nostrils start to close up. And it's like having two straws and drinking a delicious milkshake, but the straws are closed. So you want to soften your nostrils and just think of oxygen going in softly. Just think right now, try it at home. Just softly breathe in. And as you breathe out, open your throat. So think of the nostrils, the straws, soft. Breathe in and relax your throat to breathe out. Let's do it two more times. Breathe in softly. Are you starting to feel calmer now? One more. Think of oxygen going in, carbon dioxide going out. Now, the chemistry of your body, what happens is the oxygen goes into your body and the carbon dioxide is coming out. And you have to keep that movement going constantly. So when I teach my class, I always say breathe in or breathe out. Breathe in or breathe out. Because a lot of times people <gasps> hold their breath and then they get exhausted and then they're stressful. So even if you're not working out and you're just at home or if you're working at your work in your office and you're finding yourself stressed, just think of this. Do 10 times softly, breathing in and breathing out. And it should help you feel calmer. Now, we're going to talk about the center. When you talk about the center, something comes up, maybe there are different issues that might come up with you. You might think, oh gosh, you know, you're thinking about your body. How does my body look? Oh, my stomach's too big. My abs are too big. I'm too heavy. Um, there's all this negative judgment that sometimes occurs. What the good thing about technique and thinking about technique of finding your abs is it makes your brain have to think about what it has to do opposed to thinking about what it looks like. So I talk about there are two little people on your shoulders and there's uh, somebody on your shoulder that's positive and there's somebody on your shoulder that's negative and they're both talking at the same time. What you have to think about is they're both going to talk to you at the same time but you have to make a conscious effort to listen to the positive. And if you start thinking negative, start going back into thinking, okay, sternum over my pelvis, back of the hand, the hand and the head, the posture over there, and then I just have to find the abs in. Okay, breathing in, breathing out. And that will help you go back into your body opposed to going out and judging yourself from the outside in. So, Back to the abs. Let's just put your hands on your abs and just go in and in and in with your hand. And think about that's what's happening with your abs. They're going in and in. 
As they go in, just go breathing out. Go. And every time you breathe out, have your abs go in, in, in. There you go. Now, try to keep your abs in. And let's put the ABCs together. Let's start with the alignment. Okay, you've got your alignment. Let's do the breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Start to get the abs going in. Feel the abs in. Now, breathe in with the abs in. And breathe out. Now, you might not be able to take as much oxygen in, so think about breathing slower. Try it. Keeping your abs in. You've got your alignment, your shoulders down, you're breathing, you're standing tall. And then you might start to feel confident. If not, it could take six sessions of doing this to feel more confident. And let me explain that. The chemistry of the body, what happens is the brain sends a signal to a muscle to contract. And these are the biceps. And let's just say you have not used your biceps at all, and all of a sudden you want to learn how to use your biceps. So the brain sends a signal to the muscle fibers, and by sending that signal, there is a chemistry that occurs that makes your muscles contract. And there's only one or two muscle fibers out of hundreds of muscle fibers that get the message the first time. So you have to keep sending the signal, and it takes six weeks of sending that signal till more muscle fibers get the message, and then more, and then more, and all of a sudden, then all your muscle fibers are understanding what to do. So if the first day you start to get into your body and you feel things are not working, don't give up. It's going to take you six weeks to really start having control over your body because those muscle fibers take six weeks to get the message. So please don't give up. So let's move on. Let's just put it all together. You got your ABCs. You got your alignment, sternum over the pelvis. Good. You got your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the abs going in. Now try to breathe with the abs in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good job. Now, as I promised you, we are going to put the ABCs together and add a D, and that will make your dance. So I'm going to just break down a couple of steps to help you learn this. But first, you have to understand your muscle isolation. There is my motto, which is find it, meaning find the muscle isolation that needs to operate a movement. Feel it, meaning really, where is it? Can I feel it? Oh, there it is. I got it. OK, I got it now. I can feel it. And then move it. Good. So we're going to find our shoulders. So. Just nice and easy, you're going to make a circle with the shoulder comfortably. And then you're going to slowly put your shoulder into the puzzle, which is the back muscle right over here. So you're going to shoulder circle. Let's do both four times. Breathe in. Good. And one more until it fits comfortably into your back. Now, sometimes people will have the shoulders too far back. You want to keep the sternum over the pelvis as you do it. Now, that's how you find your shoulder blade in the back. Once you find your shoulder, in in, shoulder blade in the back, you can stir soup properly. Now, that's one of our dance steps, is stirring soup. So you've got your shoulder blade in the back, and you are stirring chicken noodle soup. Good. Now, you have to breathe. So breathe out. Breathe out. Two more. Breathe out. Breathe out. Good job. And now just take a deep breath in. Shoulder circle four times. And then we're going to do the other side. Good. And see where it fits? Lift it up. Now we've got lentil soup. 
and you breathe out. Abs are in, breathe out. Two more, breathe out, and breathe out. Good. Now you put it together. You've got chicken noodle soup, you've got lentil soup. You breathe out, you breathe out. Your abs are in. Good. Four, three, two, one. Now, the soup is bubbling over and it's getting so high that we're gonna do four circles of the soup and then as it bubbles over, we put it over the head, over the head, over the head, Again, soup low, breathe out, abs in, good, over the head, over the head, over the head, good job. Right, so that's pretty good. We've done the A, the alignment, the B, the breath, the C, the center, and then here's our little dance, which is soup. The center is not just one center. You've got the top and the bottom and the side and the side, and they all got names, and the sides are the transverse abdominus muscles, the up part is the upper rectus abdominus muscle, the bottom is the lower, but we're not gonna go there. We're just gonna find the one ab and then the other ab. Let's start with this ab. Just tap it gently. As you tap it, what's happening is there's a sensory feeling that helps your brain know where it has to feel the muscle. Okay, so now the brain is knowing where to find the muscle, where to feel the muscle, and then the muscle contracts to move the hip. The muscle contracts to move the hip. As the muscle contracts to move the hip, you breathe out, you go, <sighs> breathe out, <sighs> <sighs> four more, Good. Now the other side, because we have two abs on either side of you, let's tap it first. Get into feeling, finding it, where is it? And you know, I've worked with women who've had cesarean and it's, once you cut a muscle, it takes a long time to feel it, but sometimes if you touch it, it is contracted even though you don't have the sensory feeling. So just go slow if you've had that issue. So just tap, and again, this is not gonna happen in one day, just repeat watching this six times and you'll be fine. Tap it, there you go, and then move it. And if you don't feel this is normal, but your brain is sending the signal, breathe out. Good, four more, and good job. Okay, so now that you found these abs, and you know that this ab can move your hip, this ab can also move your leg. It's what takes your leg out. It's, this is the motor of the car. That's the center. It's the right signal or the left signal. Good. So eight, seven, six, and the arms can just flow. Five, four, three, two, one, and in. Tap the other side. Where are you? There you are. Good job. Okay. And eight, seven, breathe out. Four, three, two, one, and together. Now, this is great. You're doing well. Let's put it all together. A alignment. B the breath. C the center. Soup four, three, two, bubbling over. Four, Three, two, and together. Good. Ab, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, other side, and with the breath, good. Five, six, seven, and good. Now, the ab takes the leg to the side, the other ab brings it in. The ab takes it to the side, the other ab brings it in. Good, two more. Breathe out to breathe in, breathe out, good, other side. Breathe out to breathe in, breathe out to breathe in, abs in, of course, and good and nice. Now, now that you feel like your center is controlling you, you can actually be more fluid. So it's kind of like 
like a sail. It just sails in the wind. If your abs go right and left, your arms will just flow. You don't have to move them. So let's try going for that way with a windmill. And windmill and breathe out. Good. Breathe out. Nice. Other side and good. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more and let's soup. Four, three, two, bubbling over and one, two, three feet together. Good. I'm just going to show you one more thing and then we're going to put music together and we're going to dance. One foot goes forward and together. Another foot goes forward and together. You're looking for your contact lens and together. You're looking for your contact lens on the other side. You go back and together. You go back and together. You look for your contact lens side and the other side. Okay? Let's repeat it with a three step. Don't get scared. Just think simple. So, front, back, together. Front, back, together. Side, back, together. Side, back, together. Back, together. Back, front, together. Side, together. Side, good. That's it. Let's put it together with music and let's just try it. Very simple. Okay? So we're going to tap the abs to get the sensory feeling. Good. Right there you go. Find it, feel it, move it. Good job, other side now and breathe out. Good. Very simple. Just the ab takes the hips to the side. Now take it with the leg. Breathe out, breathe out. Nice and one, two. Now bring it to the other side, ab. Breathe out. Good. Four more. There you go. Now we're going to travel, travel. Good. This ab, that ab, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Other side and breathe out. Breathe out. Good. Nice job. Let's repeat with the windmill. Windmill. Good. Flow. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Other side. Breathe out. One more. Now stir your soup. Chicken lentil. And it's bubbling over. Ah, ah. Feet together and just forward. Good. Breathe out. Side. Where's the contact lens? Good. I just can't find that contact lens, but I'll look anyway. Good. And three steps. One. One, two, three. Side. Breathe out. Good. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Side. Good. Now travel windmill. One. Breathe out. You're getting good. Nice job. Other side. Windmill. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, good. Little faster, good. Other side, little faster, good. Good soup. Overhead. Forward, three steps, good. Side. Back. Side, good, and bow. Not bad. See, that's what I mean about dancing your way through life. Take a deep breath in. And let's just play with it. And let's just dance it. And just imagine having fun and dancing your way through life. Ready? Maestro music. Good.
Don't forget to breathe. Yeah. 